Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Hello if you're new. Welcome if you are a returning subscriber. Today we are doing another haul. We've established I have a bit of a problem. I'm telling myself it's because summer's coming and I wanted to try some more summery pieces. Also, I haven't popped in Zara in a while. We all know I have this soft spot for Zara. Although, did have a bit of an issue. I've had to take the thumbnail with a bag that looks like this, which isn't even my bag, um, because I was walking around the shops and next minute what happens? The bag rips, clothes are flying everywhere and I had to go into Mango and kindly ask for a bag. So, this is a Mango bag, but it's filled with Zara clothes i have got so much stuff to share with you a lot of it is like summery stuff so a lot of whites a lot of florals a lot of dresses um but they had some really lovely stuff in zara i'm not gonna lie to you guys i will do my absolute best to obviously link everything below i'll also drop a link to this dress below if you do want to check it out if you are new to my channel please don't forget to go down there and hit subscribe turn the bell on if you want to be notified when i upload i'd also love it so much if you could check me out on instagram i will leave my name in the description box and i'll pop it on the screen right now i will probably style a lot of these pieces up that you see in today's video over on my instagram so if you kind of want to see it start up with other stuff in my wardrobe i would recommend following me over there that is enough of me literally chatting absolute nonsense um let's just get into the stuff i'm going to move this rail over a little bit because it's a bit distracting to me to you <laughs> to me to you Okay hey guys, so let's just dive on in. I honestly have got the most random things in here, so I'm just gonna pull stuff out one, of one at a time. Let's start out with this dress. I saw this um, and I just thought it was really, really cute. I don't know, so nice for holiday. This retailed for 29 pounds. Zara's prices are a little bit all over the shop. Like I saw this one dress that I really wanted. They didn't have my size and it was like 80 pounds. So some of the stuff is really expensive. Some of it is a little bit more affordable. I honestly thought this was just such a nice little print and pattern. It's kind of like that scrunch material which is the only thing that I'm not sure about because I don't know how flattering this is going to be also I did go for a medium because I thought it'd be super stretchy hopefully the medium is going to be okay and I didn't need the large let's give this a go try it on see what we make of it I just thought with some sliders on holiday and like a little crossbody bag um it's such an easy little dress I love this sort of thing for when it's a little bit more warmer so yeah let's see what we make of it popped on the little dress and i actually i'm so surprised i really like this so like i mentioned i did go for a medium i'm currently not wearing a bra you could wear a strapless bra or maybe if you had one with like some sort of like pretty straps or something but these are quite thin so they're not going to disguise it all that well I actually surprisingly really like this sort of like ruching material i think because it's very very stretchy it feels super comfortable the color of this really like the pattern and the print i think with a nice tan on holiday it could look so nice okay so i've stood over here hopefully you guys can kind of see it a little bit more i know i really need to work on showing you guys things in full it's just so difficult in this room because the camera can't go far back enough the length is really nice on this i am five foot seven as a reference also if you've never watched me before i'm typically a size 10 to 12 totally depends on where it's fitting if it's the top half or the lower half i did go for a medium in this dress though and i actually really do like the fit i like it a little bit kind of tighter and yeah i just think it's really nice you could honestly throw on some flat sandals and like a little strappy bag it doesn't need to be overly like done i just feel like the dress is just cute by itself so really surprised at how much i like this um and i think the pattern is so nice for the summer yes sarah it's cute, isn't it really nice like really nice like in ibiza going like with going for like a, just like a little dinner, drink cocktails, with like a long with like, like a bag that's like a long yeah and like jewelry Green, and like a tan and like a golden and like, like a, a golden little, sheen and like a little don't know what to say oh so next up i have this little white dress now i had one like this last year from zara but i should have got it in a size up because the button at the bottom basically pulls and it doesn't look right and that's what i'm really worried about this because i did actually get this in a medium and i'm starting to think i should have got the large so we'll have to see it's kind of like one of those tiered dresses i always see girls in these and think how cute they look like spanish girls always wear this kind of vibe with like a cute little bag and some flat shoes so i thought i would give it a go but i am kind of hesitant just because obviously it has no shape so i don't know how flattering it's going to be on me just as a price guide this was 25.99 like i said i got it in a medium i actually really should have got the large now 
I'm thinking about it, but we'll see if I can get it on. I just really like the kind of like classic white kind of shirt vibe. It's very clean. Um, I like the little tiered design. I thought again, on holiday, a lot of this stuff I'm like on holiday, but obviously you can wear it in the UK when the sun hopefully comes back at some point. I did also pick up a bag that I think will look really cute with this. So I will try it on with the bag in a minute, but first I'll just try it on the dress. Okay, so I've tried really hard to make this work, but I just don't think it's working. Like it was a nice idea, but I think executed isn't quite happening here guys so firstly this is the world's shortest dress let me let me just put the camera down this is the length of the dress now i'm all for a short dress you know i love a short dress this is kind of like wearing a top um now zara have been kind enough to make it longer in the back which i do appreciate but it is still quite short i think i probably could have actually got the large the only thing is if i got the large i feel like it would have just been like a tent like there would have been no shape do you kind of know what i mean just see girls in this all the time and they always look, always look so cute like in barcelona and things like that i thought like with a nice cute little bag like even with my louis bag i thought it would be quite sweet i have put on some like flat kind of sliders these are my mum's um and i just i'm trying here to make it work but let me know i don't no, is it really working? I don't think it's working, is it, everyone? I'm trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen, Gretchen. How I feel. I did pick up a little straw bag to kind of pair with this outfit. I've also been seeing these in Zara, and I do just think they're very, very sweet. So this one retailed for £29.95, so £30. So it wasn't the cheapest bag in the world. I did think it was really cute. I love the shape of these little straw bags. By the way, this is a smaller one. They do this bag in a larger size, and I think also like a medium size, which the bigger size would be really good for like your beach bag. Um, it has this like kind of compartment here so you can actually put your stuff in here and then kind of secure it with these at the side like this so you can keep stuff a little bit more secure um but it does then kind of change the shape of the straw bag like it sort of pulls in the straw bag which i don't know i feel like that kind of ruins the effect i think it's really cute i don't know how practical it would be but it is such a nice little summery bag which with white i love like tan and straw accents with white i just think that looks really cute so yeah this is an option if you are interested zara has so many of these straw bags available at the moment i'm kind of in two minds whether or not i'm going to keep this one or return it um i like the idea but practicality i'm a little bit unsure on i don't know what do we think i really was trying i think you guys know what kind of outfit i was going for if i can pop a pinterest photo on the screen right now and show you my inspiration Maybe it will help you understand why I was vibing because I don't think I've done a very good job of this, to be quite honest with you. The next time I am going to try on some denim shorts, well, I'm going to attempt to try on some denim. What size did I get these in? No, I got them in my size. Okay, I'm going to try and get these on. We had a situation in one of the last Zara hauls. I seem to have it quite often with Zara where I don't fit into the denim shorts every single time I buy them. So we'll see if i manage to fit into these i just really like them on the hanger they look like a really nice fit thing is now i've got them home i'm thinking i should have sized up i did get them in a uk 12 they were 20 pounds which i thought was really good for denim shorts but they don't have any stretch to them so if i can't get this waistband over my bum then it's not going to happen but they do look really really cute they look like they've got a bit of extra kind of fabric in between the legs does anyone know what i mean i can't deal with those short shorts in between the legs just pick up this little basic baby blue top i don't know i just thought it was kind of cute little vest top very useful and handy they did these in a few other colors i went from medium and this one was 7.99 so i'll pop this on together um and see how it goes so this is the little blue vest top let's start with this because this is what you guys can see right now this is just really handy i actually kind of wish i'd got this in a white um just because it's so much more practical but i do like the blue um it's a little bit longer which i actually really like sometimes i'm over everything being cropped all the time because it means you constantly have to find things that are going to match it and be high-waisted enough and this is really nice it's nice ribbed fabric comfortable actually really vibe this 10 out of 10 this is cute. Let's fold it up for a minute so I can show you guys the shorts. I really want to show you guys these shorts and talk about them because we all know shorts are not my favourite thing. I've made that very, very apparent on this channel, especially Zara shorts. Um, I just, I always want them to work, but they never do. I'm actually really happy with these. I know some people say they're a little bit on the smaller side, but hopefully the denim will kind of give a bit and I actually quite like the fit. These are called like mid or high rise. I am gonna try and find the exact ones. If you are like me and you struggle with shorts, you might wanna try these out. The reason why is they're a little bit longer. They're not like bum shorts or like 
booty shorts they have more of like a seam on the inner thigh um and they're just that bit longer and i just personally find that so much more flattering when they're not sort of like showing my whole bum do you kind of know what i mean i really like the distressing on the front these were 19.99 which i think is a really good price also they are sitting just so everyone can see very high waisted which i also really appreciate it means if you do have something that's cropped or a little bit shorter it's going to match the denim shorts me to say i like a pair of denim shorts is honestly the most crazy thing ever like we all know i hate denim shorts so the fact that i like these for 20 quid is a really good thing i wonder if zara does them in like black or like a white even it would be quite nice but yeah just i feel like as annoying as it is everyone needs a pair of denim shorts even if like me you have a meltdown every time you try them on i would recommend ordering like 10 different pairs online or something and trying them all on at home when you feel really good about yourself versus going to a t small tiny hot changing room trying to try on denim shorts when you're not really in the best like state of mind i feel like that can be quite dangerous so yeah i'm really happy with them i think they're very very cute next up i did pick up this little skirt i don't know i just thought it was really cute i love this sort of like beige thing that's going on at the moment one thing I want to point out, I did get this skirt in a large. It was $49.99. So if it's not a vibe, it's going to go back. Um, it has zero stretch to it. Like, none whatsoever. This is like... Oh, actually, that's a lie. That has a little bit of stretch to it there. But it's not like a stretchy sort of fabric, if you are wondering. Um, I just really liked these really cute little diamantes that are going down the front. And also, if anyone remembers this skirt which is from a recent haul video that I did from Misguided. Possibly one of the most flattering skirts ever. Couldn't recommend it enough. Um, I will drop a link to it if you're interested. It just kind of gave off like quite a similar sort of shape. So I wondered if it would be as flattering as this green one. We will try it on and see what we think. I'm going to pop it on with another top I can find in my wardrobe. But yeah, it is expensive though. £50 I think. It does have the little frill at the bottom which is quite sweet. So obviously this top is not from zara i will do my best to link this below because i think pretty little things still have this top on their website i really did not know what to pair with this skirt i feel like i don't have the right top i feel like i almost need like a lacy sort of cami top or something that's a bit more strappy um but i just couldn't find anything so i literally just threw this big billowing top on i'm really surprised i actually quite like this skirt so it obviously has all of the like ruche and pleating design everyone knows i really do like ruching i find it to be quite a flattering sort of design i also really like this thing that sort of sticks out the only thing i'm gonna say is i've sort of made it a little bit more high-waisted and it's just a tiny bit like gapy here i wish it was slightly tighter but i could always pin it or something like that um i love the little frill at the bottom i think that's really cute it would look so nice with some really high like wedges or really high heels um with like a shimmer on the legs i think that would be great love the beige i think that's a really nice touch but please let me know what you would probably pair with this skirt because that's the one thing that i'm kind of confused about i don't really know what to sort of style it with i do really like all of the little um buttons that are in these like diamantes down the front i think that looks so cute um and then does it have a seam in between the bum cheeks um i quite like a seam in between the bum cheeks i think it's quite flattering it adds a bit of volume to the bum i'm happy with this i'm really glad i went for the large the medium definitely would have been too small on me um and i like the color it is super cute i do need to think about what i would pair it with again i think it would be really nice in the evening in the uk on a night out or something or for dinner i also think it would be really great on holiday because it is that really nice sort of beigey color that just pairs so nicely with a like golden tan yeah i'm happy with this wow need two more things left but i'll quickly whiz through them now this wasn't the biggest sarah haul in the world but i did just want to show you some bits that i did pick up for hopefully a bit of warmer weather this dress i got in a medium now again really like the dress but it was 50 pounds and it's cute but it's literally a plain white dress so unless it does amazing things i think that's a little bit expensive zara had some really nice though like satin white long strappy dresses they had this really lovely long sleeved kind of like lace dress it was so nice but they didn't have my size um they do have a lot in their new in section of like whites and lace and like neutrals which is really nice for the summer and i'm glad that that's kind of back in the store so I'm sort of waiting for something like that to come out i just prefer summer dresses so much more um than that awkward springtime so yeah this is cute we'll pop it on see what we think i did go for medium it is a little bit sheer just letting you guys know it's not like 
you know, I can kind of see my hand through that. So for 50 pounds, I don't know what we all think about that. I'm trying not to be inappropriate here and rude as well, because I know somebody out there, this might fit them like a glove and they might love it. What's happening here, Zara? What's going on? Quite an unusual one, if you ask me. Maybe someone out there is loving this, but it's clinging to my belly and my thighs. It's getting all the girls out. I'm really unsure on this one. Obviously I've left these hanger things out because I think I was that outraged when I put it on. I just can't believe this is 50 pounds. It literally looked like a sack of potatoes. I, that's literally how I look right now. I don't think I've ever put on something so unflattering until I tried on this dress. Oh my word, sorry, I'm just catching a full glimpse of it in the camera this is not worth 50 pounds just so everyone is aware this dress that i tried on in my like asos kind of video is also the same price well it was when i bought it on asos and it's like got sequins and it's so flattering and it's like such a lovely dress this yeah sadly this is a bit of a flop do you know what i really miss i miss the days when zara used to do dresses like this let me just show you guys this is one of my favorite dresses ever from zara i got this like three years ago now and it's kind of like a tux blazer dress i think it's so nice it's really flattering really good quality i love this sort of thing what i've got on right now i honestly what i've got on right now i need to just take it off it's just horrific imagine i came down for dinner like this with my mum and dad on holiday or something they'd be like what are you wearing <laughs> Okay, let's get this one off. So next up, I'm gonna try on this dress. Now, I am really hesitant about this one because I don't think I'm gonna get it on. I, I did get it in a medium and I think, again, I should have gone for the large. This dress was 25 99 I loved the pattern and the shape looked really flattering and like a, a shape that I quite like. So we'll give it a go, but sadly, I think I might have to size up to the large in this one. Um, yes. You can hear panting in the background. It's not me. It's the dog, the dog's been on a walk and he's actually sat on my bed and he's literally panting. So do apologize about that. Um, okay, this is a dress that I got in the medium. Now, part of me is like, okay, I could have sized up and gone for the large, definitely. But I think if I did, this section here would just be a little bit too exaggerated. Um, obviously I know that's the look, that it's meant to be a little bit looser up top and then obviously kind of a lot tighter on the bottom half. I do think it's really cute. I think it would be nice for maybe like something that I don't know, like a wedding or just something a little bit more formal. I think it's cute. This is the back. Obviously it's a little bit on the smaller side on the back. Um, but I don't know, I feel like, again, if I'd sized up, I just feel like here I don't have the bust to fill out the top half of this dress. Again, I think it's cute, but I'm not like, wow, obsessed with it, really need to keep it. Most stunning dress I've ever bought from Zara, if you kind of know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm... It's okay, it's 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 cute, but it's okay. Okay guys, so that actually wraps up for today's Zara haul. Not the biggest one in the world, I know. I didn't buy loads. Um, I just wanted to get in and get out of the shop, so I didn't get loads of stuff. I think I'm gonna have another look online because I am gonna return quite a few pieces from today's video. They do have some really nice stuff online, so if I see any of the things that I have been loving, I will link them below if you guys wanna check them out. They have like really nice like sage green dresses and a lot of like creams and just really lovely dresses that they just sadly didn't have in my size when I was in the store. So I will do my best to link that stuff below as well as everything that I mentioned in today's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. You did vote for a Zara haul so I will have my girl talk video up on Thursday which is a really fun chilled out video that hopefully you guys will really like um hi if you're new to my channel by the way I know we have a few new subscribers so thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to this channel obviously let me know in the comments what you want to see from me if you want to see haul videos challenges just vlogs I have been vlogging the last few days as well so there will be a vlog up soon too um yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always let me know what your favorite thing is from today's video if you are shopping from zara and i will see you all in my next one bye guys <laughs>